Okay, from our template that we created, uh, this is the system that was created from it, and this is going to become a uh, primary domain controller, uh, act like a Windows uh, 2008, 2012 Active Directory server, um, and be, to be able to be accessed from uh, the Windows administrative tools or Active Directory tools as well to create users and stuff like that. Um, it'll be its own DNS server uh, as well. So we're just going to go through the steps here to install that, and then uh, we'll go from there. And install some packages. Okay, that's finished uh, installing. Wasn't previously uh, mentioned there. Basically, what we're going to do here is uh, uh, install the um, git core, and that command's up here. Basically, uh, yum install git uh, dash core, uh, and I'll download the the git repository and then uh, from there I actually made a directory called Samba for DC and then I changed directory into it and then I got a I used the git command to make a clone of the uh, Samba master from the git repository and right now it's uh, pulling it down and I'll try to speed this up as well so we can get it installed without taking too much time okay everything looks good that way we're just going to reboot to make sure that we come up clean again and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there okay now we're going to change directories do the samba samba master and from here, you're going to build it. It's going to be a configure, enable debug, and then also enable self-test. Okay, so it finished successfully. Um, so now we're going to go into the make command. Currently, it's just going through and, and building these different uh, uh, libraries and, and executables and, um, you know, from C code and stuff like that that was downloaded from the GitHub uh, into this. And then uh, once it's done compiling, um, you basically do a you know, configure and then you do uh, a make and then you usually do like a make install. And then once you do the make install, it installs it just like it would a an executable file um, basically that, that's available to the Linux system. Okay, it looks like the uh, build was uh, finished successfully, so now we're going to do a uh, install.
looks like everything finished successfully. Uh, next steps will actually be to install it um, with all the information that we need as a, an actual Active Directory uh, domain controller, and we'll do that next step. Again, for more information, check out info.bing14.net. Thanks. Okay, we're going to try the Samba provisioning tool and uh, we do interactive so we have to answer some questions and we're also going to use the NTVFS uh, as an option here and uh, let's see how it goes this time. Bing LAN, that's fine. Bing Lab. Uh, roles, we're going to want it as a uh, domain controller. If you wanted to, you can make it a member server of an existing domain that's running actually Windows 2008-2012 uh, or it can be set up as a standalone. We're going to set up as a domain controller. Uh, DNS backend, we're actually going to use this, this, the Samba internal. If you wanted to, you could use a uh, different DNS server provided by Microsoft or uh, any other type of uh, third-party DNS server, Bind. Um, it really doesn't matter. But we're going to use the internal one. Uh, DNS forwarder, we're going to use our default gateway, which is you know my DNS uh, server for my systems on the network that I have. It could be different for yours. If you want to, you can even use an external one. Uh, one example would be Google, which would be 8.8.8.8, and uh, that would you know work as well. Uh, password, you need to make this kind of complex. Um, I've had some issues where I've made it very basic, and it gives me an error. Right now, it's setting up the looks like the databases, the SAM, the uh, domain name, configuration containers, and all of the other information that we're needing. And it seems to be um, moving along right now. Uh, it's creating the force zones or the partitions, I should say. Um, looks like it fixed the GUIDs and it says that uh, Kerberos configuration is suitable for Samba 4 has been generated. So as of right now, it looks like that uh, the Samba 4 server is ready to be used. It's been set up as a uh, Active Directory Domain Controller. It's already created a domain SID, a DNS domain, and a NetBIOS domain as well for this. Um, so that looks like it went smooth. Um, there will be more notes and more information at info.bing14.net. And uh, appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to start the Samba service um, so we can create the uh, or get the uh, prime domain controller set up. And then we're also going to test it to make sure that everything seems to be working properly on it, all the different pieces and parts. Um, so, first, we're going to need to do is uh, start the, uh, the, the just start Samba. Also change the uh... well, go to the directory. And looks like it started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the version. And it looks like we're version 4.2.0 and the, the Git version of it. And let's check the uh, 
client version as well. And there's the client version. Well, this basically tells us the domain, um, netlog on syslog and IPCV. If you're uh, familiar with Windows, obviously this is stuff that you've uh, seen from there as well. You can see your different servers, work groups. Next thing we're going to do is uh, edit our resolve. So we're using the uh, correct search and everything else. So this will be Hang Lab. Name server is actually going to be IP address of the server itself. And we'll reboot. Okay, we need to check some things and make sure that they're uh, working properly. Um, so let's get that information. And it's got a service record on port 389, which is good. So everything looks good that way. Um, bringing back the another service server server record um, on port 88, it looks like. And it comes back as the uh, reverse DNS lookup, basically, and gives us the correct IP address. So everything looks good there. All right, now we need to check to see how the uh, Kerbos file looks. We'll make a backup of that. And then we'll also copy the uh, original or copy from the location. Okay, and then we're going to edit that. And here, the default realm is name of ours. Yes, look up realm fault and DNS look up KDC is equal to true. Now we're going to test the Kerbos and see how that's working. And it's asking me for the password. This will be the password that we used to set it up with. And it looks like it gave me one. And it's giving me 41 days before it expires. Uh, this will give us information on the ticket itself. See when it was validated, the time when it expires. and renew until. And that is now started. Okay, hey, that pretty much finishes up the uh, install there. It looks like uh, Kerbos is working and uh, everything should be working from a login perspective. Uh, so next steps will be to create another VM with either Windows 7 or Windows XP, uh, install the administrative tools to it and see if we can connect and create users and look at groups and stuff like that. Uh, again, you can get more information at info.bing14.net. Thanks again for your time and hope you enjoyed